The National Parks Board and Tomasic Foundation have embarked on a one and a half year study on dragonflies in Singapore, and it's to find out how they can be used to control the mosquito population. The findings could also pave the way for guidelines to enhance biodiversity, biodiversity in green spaces. Jun Lo has more. This 1.3 kilometer stream at Jurong Lake Gardens was designed to attract dragonflies. The plants here are commonly found near rivers and clean water and provide ideal conditions for these insects. Researchers are now tracking the number and variety of dragonflies at the site as part of a new study. The findings could help nature groups and landscape architects create habitats for the insects. We hope that this will be introduced in all our neighborhood parks in due course to bring back biodiversity and dragonflies closer to our home. The study also looks at how dragonflies can reduce the mosquito population. Samples of the dragonflies will be sent for DNA testing to find out what they have been eating. With Singapore planning to expand its green spaces by a thousand hectares over the next decade, the results could shape the types of spaces being added. A place where there's a very good wetland habitat, a pond for example, and you have a lot of dragonflies flying around, then um, there's more or less guarantee that these dragonflies will in some way help to suppress the mosquito population. Doesn't mean that you will not get a mosquito bite. So whether these dragonflies have an impact on this mosquito also depends on the mosquito species. And this is what we are hoping to find out. There are currently over 120 known species of dragonflies in Singapore. According to interest group Dragonfly Watch, they can be found in wetland reserves as well as urban parks like the Singapore Botanic Gardens and here at Kenridge Park. Oh, we're going to build two layers. This is one layer. Floating structures were built to enhance the dragonflies' breeding grounds under a pilot project. We brought um, those plastic bottles from home and uh, we used the zip ties to zip tie it to this um, netting platform. By creating these new habitats for like populations to settle down, they can, we can actually increase the population and see more of them in nature. Now dragonflies can be very selective of their habitats depending on the species. Preferred habitats can vary from still water pond to running water with weeds and that's why it can be helpful to have floating platforms like this as they provide different options for the dragonflies to rest and breed. And to raise awareness of the island's fauna and flora, a festival of biodiversity will be held at the HDB Hub at Topayo this weekend.